Hey, welcome back. We have a knife here from a brand I actually have not handled before, so eh, I'll do this one off screen, sorry. It's whenever I get them directly from an actual store or, you know, off a drop or whatever, it helps to uh, just do it off screen because a lot of times I include like receipts and stuff with my info on it, so sorry about that. But this is from Null Knives, and I've been seeing what uh, Sean's been doing over there, and um, I've been pretty interested in it. So he's, I guess, based out of New York, and then does these. With someone made, someone's making them in China, and actually I was thinking about trying to look it up or find out who's doing them, but I thought it would actually be more fun to just see if I could figure it out myself, and then I'll confirm in the comments after. The box is not familiar to me, so that immediately kind of throws me off, but I don't know if it's something that maybe I, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, so this is the Voodoo from Null Knives, the Dark Stone Wash with Blue Micarta, M390 Acid Wash Blade, and serial number 452. He recently just did a drop, and this was uh, a knife I grabbed off of that drop. This is kind of fun. I don't know if I've seen many that work like that where you pull it out. Kind of like a drawer. Oh, and uh, Certificate of Authenticity there. Nothing super uh, crazy. Interesting. I wasn't quite sure what the size was going to be like on this. And the blue micarta is a little lighter than I would normally go for, but with the dark wash blade, it actually all comes together pretty nicely. <clears throat> Very cool backspacer there. This feels like a little bit of a style first knife, but that has some general ergos that are very intentional. So let's see what we think. Let's get uh, some of this stuff out of the way. I've started to notice that if I have too much stuff on the screen, my camera wants to uh, focus on them. So there we go. Get you some good lighting and see what how it goes. Great deployment. What the heck? That's a crazy blade. I don't even think I noticed it being shaped like that. I thought it was uh, straight at the end, but that's got like an interesting little swoop. Makes it very pointy, more than I personally prefer, but I guess you get the benefit of like a sheep's foot blade and a, uh, or a worn cleft, whatever you want to call it, and a uh, something you can stab with if you want to. Overall, feels really good in the hand. I love this actually. I love this uh, it's very, very comfortable and kind of fits in the hand here. This is a little big to me, like that's your pinky, so you'd want that to be smaller, but it's not too bad. If you hit it at the right angle, it feels pretty good. And then you can shift exactly like one finger up. If you don't land right just perfectly, it's not too bad there. And then this is kind of like that Roosevelt where you get the layer just perfectly layered in there, which makes it feel very much like you're supposed to be there. I love that feeling. So I like the choke up points. The blade's a little weird, like I kind of wish this went a little further or something because that's, if you're choking up like that, now you're kind of landing your finger right on there. So that's not choice to me, that's style over ergos, which I'm not a fan of. That is a crazy, crazy way of doing that though. Um, that is pretty cool looking. I don't know if I've seen something like that before where it has kind of a fin on there, so that's neat. Um, Let's see. Oof, very sharp. It's pretty damn good on the action and the blade's heavy enough. The deployment action's really nice. The action's good. The action's very good. Very, very good. Gosh, I don't know. I don't know who this is. Vestec? Kubi? Hmm. Not QSP, that's for sure. I shouldn't say that's for sure because I'll probably be wrong. Wow. This thing has good lockup with this action. It's one of the better detents I've handled in a while. Perfect. Perfect lockup. Nice and early there. That's sweet. And I like how it's got this inset liner lock. That's very choice. It seems like you could probably swap out the scales on these too, which would be awesome. If you 
provide some volume of scales. I would love to swap out these scales with some options. I wasn't sure if this knife was going to be a keeper, but man, it is uh, impressive. It's kind of what I wanted the Microtech to be like, the MSI. This thing's sweet. Let's take a look at the uh, weight and the uh, length and everything. It's definitely a big knife. So overall length, eight, eight and a quarter. Blade length, 3.625-ish. Cutting edge, three and a half. So it is a seriously full-size knife, but it doesn't, it feels lighter than a full-size knife. Let's see if we can take a look and see what's going on inside. This must have tie liners in here. Not a lot of uh, weight relief in there, just very thin liners with some micarta on top, and I guess it works out super light because it just feels very light for the size, like the lightest knife of this size I, I can remember handling, aside from a VCI interface. Especially for one that's not, you know, this has got nice rounded scales on it and stuff. This is not, not designed to be super lightweight, but it actually, for what it is, does feel very lightweight. And sorry, I know you are not probably located in Europe because I've seen my YouTube stats. So four ounces for like a very full-size knife, it's pretty damn good. You know, that'd be competing with like a, a four and a half ounce Demco and G10. Their titaniums are gonna be like five and a half ounces. Um, this is sweet. I see what the hype is all about. I was not sure. I was actually pretty confident I would be reselling this. I don't think I will be. This is setting some pretty high bar on action for me. Very nice. The D10 is just excellent. It's already starting to really break into, or maybe I'm breaking in and getting used to it. But this is very, very nice. Wow, see how the centering is here? As our friend Lefty would say, is it dead nut? No, it's a little off center actually, isn't it? Just a touch to the clip side. Just a touch to the clip side. Can't quite tell on video. It's pretty damn close to dead center if it's not. No, it's a little bit off. Just a little bit off there. That might be the grind, I don't know. This knife looks like it's pretty well centered and put together. Pretty sweet. Let's take a look at some of these details. The thumb stud, I'm not normally a big fan of like a non-round thumb stud, but this one is pretty damn good. I'm definitely liking the feel here. I was a little hesitant about that, but that feels great. And then it's got just like the perfect fuller here. I mean, take note folks, like if you're designing a knife, the thumb shouldn't go past here. Like it shouldn't go all the way up into the scale, right? It should stay right here. And then the fuller is just, like it can't be up here, you guys. Like I don't wanna have to like pinch my finger forward. It should just naturally fall into the right place just like that. That's awesome. Let's take a look at that blade too, that is, Super cool acid etched finish. Well, I'm totally confused. I don't know if this is made by Riot or Best Tech or I'm just trying to think of who, other, who else I've seen or felt a knife that felt like this. Could be Riot, I don't know. Could be QSP, Best Tech. It. Probably feels the most like best tech to me. If I had to take one guess, but it could also be Riot. Riot also has this kind of quality to it. But I don't think they're really, gosh, I don't know. So if I had to make a couple changes to this knife for my perfect kind of setup, I would go with like a different color on the micarta. That'd probably darken up and it'd probably look a little better to me. Love the acid etch blade. I would just probably cut it off though. Like I just don't love this crazy pointy swoop at the end, um, but it is unique. So, you know, in the world of I'm not gonna have one knife and my only knife, 
I don't mind it too much. The action's perfect. I wouldn't really change anything, to be honest. Like, some people want it to be, like, perfectly drop shut. That would be nice, but... So freaking good that, you know, I actually don't mind it being a little more controlled. There's not much else to say. This thing just feels great. It grips great. I'd love to see a mini version that's done right. Like, if you can figure out the mini version, maybe just work that right up to here and don't put a separate finger here. Make this a little smaller. Um, this is really nice, but this is not great to have to kind of land. Like, it's very unnatural to land that far away. It's, it's okay but I'd rather be up here and that's not a great place to put your finger because it's so skinny so looks cool but not my not really my jam there that's about it I mean this thing and on the rollout it's really nice if you hit the thumb stud it'll pop out a little bit if you grab it down here where you get a little more leverage you can walk it out really nicely there very predictably and smoothly so I love that um Let's do a little cut edge test here. I could just tell from having felt it earlier, like this thing is gonna cut really well. It's not perfect. I've seen slicier edges, but it's very, very good. Very good. So great edge from the factory and not overdone, just like just the right amount of edge there. So that's nice. It's got like a hollow grind on it. Nice hollow grind on there. I don't know if I really showed that during the video. Yeah, that's sweet. For, I think I paid $375 or something like that. There was a carbon fiber scale version um, for $400. I am not mad. It's a damn, damn nice knife and hard to compete with for that price. That's sweet. Very addictive on the uh, action. It just uh, sucks right in there. I'm trying to think, could it be pe could it be QSP? Gosh, I don't know. I think it's best tech. I'm gonna find out and throw that in the comments or in the description rather. But whoever did it did a damn nice job. And if I was to make a knife in China, I would definitely work with these guys because this is a very satisfying action for sure. So all for now. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.